Welcome back, coffee drinkers. <laughs> oh, that tastes really bad. It tastes bad today. The coffee's not hitting. Lydia? Lydia? Please. I'm in the middle of my intro. I just picked you up last episode, so let's not do this. But anyways, welcome back, coffee drinkers, to what apparently is now a Skyrim mod coverage channel. If you guys missed the last video, we're trying to beat Skyrim while playing as a bear. We might change the format a little bit as we go into the future. We might change into a different animal if we get sick of being a bear. But for now, what I have to do, I gotta get to the Greybeards. I have to go somehow learn how to shout. So we're on our way over there. We're just gonna we're just gonna see how it goes. It's been pretty fun so far. I'm not gonna lie. This is I recommend trying out Skyrim this way. The mod that I'm using. You there? Uh, we're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. I promise. I don't know anything. I'm innocent. Run. They suspect something. Go. <laughs> They're just questioning this giant polar bear running through town. Now the graybeards are all the way. Oh, that's right. We have to go to this little town around the mountain. I don't want to use any cheats. So. I am gonna run there. Oh, Jesus, we're under attack. Engage combat mode. I think being near the water is really breaking the polar bear right now. Come on. Mush. Mush, damn you. I'm just making short work of everything. Okay, once a day, those under the ritual sign can reanimate nearby corpses to fight for them. You may only have one blessing at a time. Now, I don't think that I can even use this, but either way, we're just gonna throw it on. Why are there so many wolves? Are there normally this many wolves in Skyrim? I think they're just, I think the game is just discriminating against my bear heritage. Oh my gosh, the game is really glitching out right now though. I never, I didn't have nearly this many problems when I was first playing it. There's like nothing loading in, more wolves. This is out of control. Fuck around and find out. I don't know how many times we have to go through this lesson, guys. I mean, look at the water. The water is freaking out. Look at the deer in the water. Is this a normal Skyrim? This is how this is how Skyrim shipped on day one, isn't it? See, if I look at the water, it becomes a problem. I'm not looking at the water. Now I look at the water. Not looking at it. You guys are seeing this too, right? Please tell me you guys are seeing this. Like the video if you're seeing what I'm seeing. I can't look at water. I have to look away from the water. That's what's breaking my game. Hold it. This here's a toll road. I'm getting held up by the <laughs> How about you let me through and I don't kill you? Tough talk for someone who's about to have their guts spilled. You're an idiot. Why would you like come on? Tough talk for someone who's about to just rip me in half with ease. Race up the stairs real quick. This is amazing. <laughs> Trying to maneuver through these dungeons is half the game. Oh shit, they got arrows. Oh, right in the head. Oh god, I keep accidentally looking at the water and it's making everything harder. This is just so much fun. When you get the timing right and you actually chomp down on them, it is incredibly fun. What are they fighting each other for? Is that Lydia? Oh my god, I forgot I even had Lydia. It's nice of her to actually want to, you know, participate. Thanks, Lyd. Oh no, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna have to quick save. I feel like if I use the alchemy lab, it's just gonna, like, the game is gonna nuke itself. It just cancels the animation. I can't actually do it. I'm gonna have to speak to whoever made this mod. That's a requested feature. I wanna see this polar bear stand up. All right, let's get out of here. I gotta get moving to the graybeards, because I don't have that much time until I need to end this recording and stream, because I told my Discord server, which if you're not in the Discord server, you should be. I told my Discord server that I would be shut up, Lydia. I'm talking to my YouTube channel. Have some respect for polar bear YouTubers, please. But anyway, I just don't have a, a ton of time to record, so I need to get moving. Plus, I am still speed running. This is a speed run. Don't ever get it twisted. Because I'm speed running, I need to use my coffee, which I forgot to ask, and that was rude of me. Do you have your coffee today? Let me know if you have your coffee today. Oh my god, it's the same assholes from town that questioned me. I'm not even going to have a conversation with you guys this time. Someone do something, I just saved you. I'm your hero. Wait, come back. Aren't you proud of me? A bear that just came up and mauled her captors. Okay, how close are we? Oh, we're actually not too far. I'm gonna just start ignoring encounters though. I need to stop having fun. <laughs> I have an objective and I need to get there and I need to stop having such a good time. I do this whenever I play Skyrim. That's why this game is so good though. I've completely ignored Lydia. I don't even think she's here anymore. <laughs> she's just given up on me. This is really making me feel in tune with my inner bear. <laughs> <laughs> bounty collector? What? I have a bounty? Wait, why do I have a bounty? Free my man, he didn't do anything wrong. Just leave me alone. What do you want? What? He was just submitted. He was just yielding. I thought the fight was over. I was gonna let him go. And then he did that. I think I'm going the right way, though. Am I? I think I am. I'm just gonna assume that I'm going the right way. Because everyone knows, in life, when you assume things, 
You're almost always correct. He smears beard, you're going to freeze to death. I'm literally a bear. Can you teach me about speechcraft? I'm afraid not. That's you don't want to teach me how to speak? I want to learn how to speak human. No, you deserve this. You should have taught me. I needed a teacher. Holy shit, it's about to be a battle of the titans. Oh my god, Sabercat stands no chance. Just obliterated him. And Lydia. Classic Lydia. Absolutely fucking useless. Nowhere to be found. I just murdered a college student. <laughs> I'm realizing how dumb that is. I just murdered a college student because he wouldn't teach me how to speak properly. <laughs> Afraid not, Mr. Bear. You're gonna have to go to college for that one. Fuck you. Wham! Am I supposed to talk to somebody here? Because I know where I'm supposed to go. A lot of goats on our way up here, too. I've ran past, I think, like 12 goats. Can we get a goat counter? Leave a comment down below. How many goats have you seen in this video? I mean, do these wolves not understand the concept of natural selection? This is how you go extinct. This is why I thrive. This is my mentality in real life, too. Clearly. Which is why I'm filming myself playing video games for validation from strangers on the internet. <laughs> I'm moving at a pretty good pace, though. We're already almost at the Greybeards. There's another weirdo praying. What are you praying nah, to? I don't think so. You don't... You don't think so? What, you don't want to talk to me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's almost a really good shot. I'm gonna wait till the day. I gotta get my thumbnail shot somehow while recording this. I'll wait for another 24 hours. Just standing directly behind this person, praying. We're here to teach you a lesson. Teach you a lesson? Wait, did you guys hear that? Now, I might not even use these in the final thumbnail. Ooh, that's a good one, too. We'll go back into the game. All right, no more thumbnail bullcrap. Oh, Jesus Christ. Lydia, you're supposed to defend me from people like this. Oh, they're actually tough. They're actually really tough. Thank you for actually helping out, Lydia. You're earning some brown... God damn, Lydia! All right. Keep an eye out for wolves. If keep an eye out for wolves. Uh, yeah, you're right. Don't keep an eye out for hired mercenaries that might want to murder you. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm in trouble. All right, all right. We actually got to use some potions. There we go. I just had to survive that fight, but we made it. So my prediction was right. This is going to get really hard, and saving up money. Buying a ton of health potions, that's going to be critical, especially as we get into some of the harder fights later in the game. Like, Dragon Priest? Give me a break. I'm screwed. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. This is going to end up becoming a really difficult challenge, especially when I get bored of playing as a bear and try to switch it up. Maybe be a deer. <laughs> it's just going to get even harder. <laughs> I have a couple of ideas in mind for future episodes, but... I, I definitely want to have fun with this as we keep going, because I am having a really good time just going through the main story. Okay, I had to skip forward in time a little bit. Uh, in order to use the shouts there, I had to do some uh, not very in line with what the title of the video and what the series is about. So I'm just going to skip over it and we'll pretend like it never happened. Now we're on the way to go get the, the horn. Yeah, we're on the way to go get the horn of Jorgen Wimdcaller, Jorg, Jorgman, Jorman, Jorman, uh, Mind Hauler. All right, we're at Morthal. Honestly, seeing a bear run through the middle of that town, probably the most exciting thing they've seen in years. No concerts, no festivals, no nothing. Morthal is one of the more boring towns in Skyrim. I feel bad for anybody who's holed up at Morthal. They got the crazy scientist who thinks he can cure vampirism. Literally a layer of some evil guy, like right outside of town. <laughs> it's right there. They have water that can induce epilepsy. This place is terrible. I don't want to live here. This is officially a Nazim and a Morthal hate channel. Fuck Morthal. All my homies hate Morthal. Now that we're in here, we're going to start speedrunning this so we can get the horn as fast as possible. Lydia, I'm going to need you to cover my back at all times. Crap. Uh, yeah, Lydia, check out their dead bodies. I'm going to accidentally scale this wall here. <laughs> I keep, I keep going vertical. Oh, now I'm, now I've really broken the game. Now I've done it. I gotta get through the door. Get out of my way. I'm just gonna keep moving. Wow, this, this place is gorgeous. Am I missing something here? Can't go through that way. Unless I just run through the wall. Can I run through the wall? Holy shit. I can run through the ceiling. We've ascended beyond reality. I think this is the way to go. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you find the oil trails, you know you're heading in the right direction. The things I do for this channel to beat Skyrim in the dumbest way possible. Oh no, a puzzle. How dare you test my brain. Yeah, if we're moving at this pace, we got the little happy feet going. Come on, we got this. No! Oh, it blocks me intentionally? I wonder if there's a way I can get around it. Like, okay, that was unintentional. But we're gonna see if it works. Okay, I definitely successfully glitched myself through there, and I did not turn back into a human so that I could shout and run through and solve the puzzle. Oh, Jesus. I'm not even trying to be deft about this. I'm just running through all the flames. Screw it. Oh, is this the boss battle? Definitely need a quick save. Although I think quick saving just broke my game. I need to speak to you urgently. Oh, okay, yeah, this is that Delphine lady. Is that her name? Delphine? Oh, that's right. She took the horn. I forgot that she takes it. So we did make it all the way to the end of this dungeon, which I wasn't actually planning on doing in this video, but I got through the beginning part so quickly because I'm speed running and I'm just fast as fuck at it that I figured, hey, I'll go to the end of the dungeon. That part actually ended up taking longer than I thought because of the glitches and meeting with the old men. What are their names? What are the old dude's names? Greybeards. I'm forgetting their names. It's, uh, hey, as the chosen one, I have a lot of other things to worry about. I'm gonna leave this one off at this part as my quote-unquote speed run as the Dova Bear or Bear Vakeen or Dragon Bear, whatever you want to call it, continues. I think in future videos, though, we might change up the playstyle a little bit. Maybe we go as a Draugr or a Fox or a fish, if possible, a mud crab could go through the next dungeon as a mud crab. I have to see what's possible with this mod, but there's a lot of options. Let me know what you guys want to see. If you want to keep the series going, obviously hit the like button, all that kind of stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Thank you to Patreons, Luke Kavara, Jack the Black, Gamer Guy, Scorch, Jordan Hart, Hammock Therapy, Arkham, and Pangy. Appreciate you guys for the support, and I'll see you on the next one.